diaphragm. What we are saying is a musculotendinous structure. Is a principal muscle of respiration. A musculotendinous structure in between the thoracic cavity above and abdominal cavity below. Peripherally, it is at lower level. And as it goes medially, it is at the upper level, just like the parachute. Okay? Yeah. Laterally, it is at lower level. And as it goes medially, it is at upper level. It has got three parts. That is the peripheral part, which is, which is attached with the body wall. Peripheral muscular part. And these are the dome of diaphragm. And third one is the central tendon of diaphragm. This one is central tendon of diaphragm on which heart rests. And this is right dome of diaphragm. This is left dome of diaphragm. So diaphragm has got three parts. Peripheral part, which is attached with the body wall, and that is muscular. Look here, the muscles, slings of muscles are coming out. The fibers, you can appreciate here. And the right dome and the left dome, and the central tendinous part on which heart rests. And what we are seeing here is the fibrous pericardium plus parietal layer of serous pericardium. One thing is very worth mentioning that fibrous pericardium, central tendon of diaphragm, and the glissons capsule, which cover the liver, is in continuity. Because all these three structures are derived from septum transversum. Always asked in the viva exam as well as in the anatomical basis. So why the fibers of the fibrous pericardium intermingle with the central tendon of diaphragm as well as with the glissons capsule? Because all these three structures are derived from a same mother structure that is the septum, septum transversum. You can see here that the right dome is somewhat at the upper level. It is 2.5 centimeter above than the left one. Right one, right dome of diaphragm is due to the right lobe of liver, whereas the left dome is the left lobe of liver as well as the fundus upper stomach and the spleen. Central tendon. It is leaf shaped. Its name is central. Hmm. But it is somewhat anteriorly located. It's just like a trilobal leaf. Like look, this one is the apex, and here is one tongue like process posteriorly. Eh? And from here also, this is tongue like, lobe like here. This is apical part, and this is tongue like. Again, here is one tongue like. So, trilobal leaf like a structure. Okay? And right, this is the right one, right lobe of this leaf is somewhat larger. And very important, what you are seeing here is the major opening of the diaphragm. This one is of inferior vena cava. This one of Esophagus and this is of aorta. This is of inferior vena cava at D8 level. This is of esophagus, esophageal, T10. And here you can see this is the right cross of the diaphragm. Right cross of the diaphragm is encircling and forming the functional. In sphincter of the esophageal aperture. Right cross of the diaphragm form a sling over there. This is the sling. Okay? So this is esophagus and this one is aorta. T8, T10, T12. Voice of America. Vena cabal opening, esophageal opening, and aortic opening. Not only the inferior vena cava passes from here, also the right phrenic nerve. 
not only the esophagus as well as the vagal trunk and the left and right gastric vessels passes from here from the esophageal opening and not only the aorta also there is a zygous vein and the thoracic duct passes from this aperture okay so is it takes origin peripherally so anterior on the anterior aspect it takes its origin from the inner surface of the gps sternum and on the periphery as we go laterally from the inner surface of the lower, lower sixth rib and the costal cartilage ever I mean anteriorly and then more laterally from the inner surface of the lower sixth rib and posteriorly from the anterior surface of the lumbar vertebra in the right side there is l1 l2 l3 and in the left side only l1 and l2 that is the known as right cross of diaphragm and left cross of diaphragm why right cross is longer it extends from the l1 to l3 whereas the left one is shorter because it is the principal muscle of respiration it contract and descend down and increases the abdominal cavity pressure and decreases the thoracic cavity pressure at the same time and we suck the air from outside and help in inspiration so what we are discussing about diaphragm no no uh, why right cross is longer than the left cross so on the right side it is here is the liver so to contract on the right side the right dome is contracting it has to give extra strength to act against the liver okay that's why right cross is longer than the left one the diaphragm has to give extra effort for contracting for descend down right. huh? in the right side that's why right cross is longer than the left, left one and right cross and then laterally there is lumbocostal arch or arcuate ligament that is medial arcuate ligament and lateral arcuate ligament that is the origin and insertion on the central tendon of diaphragm all these fibers come centrally and it forms the central tendon of diaphragm which is like a trilobal leaf about the development the peripheral part it is developed from the body wall most posteriorly and in the in the middle dorsal mesenteric esophagus what we are seeing this is esophagus and if the mesenteric lies anteriorly then ventral mesenteric posteriorly so dorsal mesenteric so there dorsal mesenteric of esophagus is straight backward in the posterior aspect it is developed from dorsal mesenteric of esophagus peripherally from the body wall this dome dome of diaphragm is developed from pleuro peritoneal membrane pleura above peritoneum below in between these two there is a canal in the fetal life there is a canal pleuro peritoneal canal later on with the development there develop a membrane pleuro peritoneal membrane which develop into the dome of diaphragm and this central tendon we all know is from the septum transversum so development of diaphragm is very important peripheral part from the diaphragm from the body wall most posteriorly from the dorsal mesentery of esophagus dome of diaphragm from the pleuro peritoneal membrane and the central tendon diaphragm from the septum transversum so thank you